My Immortal, Chapter 23, A Dramatic Reading The door opened and Professor Rumbridge and Cornelia Fudge stomped out angrily. Then Dumbledum and Rumbridge sawed us. Mr. Way, what the beep are you doing? Rumbridge shouted angrily. Dumbledore blared at her. Oops, she made a mistake, he corrupted her. She means, hi everybody, come in. We all came in angrily, so did all the other students. I sat between Darkness and Draco, and opposite Bloody Mary. Crab and Goyle started to make some morbid jokes. They both looked exactly like Vile Volo. I ate some Count Chocula and drank some blood from a cup. Then I heard someone shooting angrily. I looked behind me. It was... Vampire! He and Draco were shooting at each other. Vampire! Draco! WTF! I asked. You fucking bastard! Yelled Draco at Vampire. I want to shit next to her. No, I do! Shouted. <laughs> no, she doesn't fucking like you, you son of a bitch! Yelled Draco. No, fuck you, you motherfucker! She laves me, not you! Shouted Vampire. And then... He jumped on Draco! No, not in that way, you perv. We started to fight and beat up each other. Dumbledore yelled at them, but they didn't stop. All of a sudden... A terrible man with red eyes and no nose flew in on his broomstick. He had no nose and was wearing a grey robe. All the glass in the window he flew f through fell apart. Brittany, that fucking prep, started to cry. Vampire and Draco stopped fighting. I shopped eating. Everyone gasped. The room fell silent. Vlosimort! Eberby, Ebony, Darth Vela said Ivily in his raspy voice, thou hath failed your mission. Now I shall kill thou, and I shall kill Vampire as well. If thou does not kill him before then, I shall kill Draco too. Please don't make me kill him, please, I begged. No, he laughed crudely. Kill him, or I shall kill him anyway. Then he flew away, cackling. I burst into tears. Draco and Vampire came to contort me. Suddenly my eyes rolled up, so they looked all cool and gothic. I had a vision where I saw some lightning flash and then Voldemort coming to kill Draco while Draco slit his wrists in a depressed way. No! I screamed sexily. Suddenly I locked up and stopped having the vision. Ebony! Ebony! Are you alright? asked Draco in a worried voice. Yeah, yeah, I said sadly as I got up. Everything's alright, N.O.B., said Vampire, all sensitive. No, it's not, I shouted angrily. Tears of blood went down my face. OMFG, what if I'm getting possessed like in Da Ring too? It's okay, girl, said Bloody Mary. Maybe you should ask Professor Sinister about what the visions mean, though. Okay, Bick, I said sadly, and then we went.